happy that you guys are here, and I'm going to cry, I feel like, so I'm sorry. So, um, good evening. My name is Sharon Whitehill, and I'm a believer who struggles with addiction. I grew up in a safe and healthy environment with loving parents and siblings. My father was in the military, so he was gone quite often, and like many military families, we moved a lot. Therefore, I began struggling with loss issues at an early age. However, I got interested introduced to drugs and alcohol at age 12, and it appeared to give me a false sense of acceptance. Things did not get better. By the time I was four, age 14, I was being bullied at school, dealing with teenage emotions and feeling suicidal. I was always a strong little girl, so I viewed crying and talking about feelings as a sign of weakness, so I did not turn to my family. I began using drugs and dropped out of high school. By age 20, I was using pain pills and got my GED and a job. At age 21, a life-changing event happened. Um, my brother Michael got crushed by an excavator on his job site, and he was my protector, my best friend, and my only brother. This was a huge loss. I felt like not only had I lost my brother, but my mother also. She was so hurt and distanced from everyone, so once it, again, I became suicidal. Sorry. At that time, I felt that God had abandoned me. Where was God? Why this happened? Psalm 34, 18, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. After this incident, you could only imagine my addiction progressively got worse. Things did get better in 2008. 2008, I found out I was pregnant, and I had my angel daughter Micah on Christmas Day. She's right over there. Um, yeah. <laughs> I stayed sober the whole pregnancy, but a few months after, I went back to use again. It got way worse. I got into heroin. I lost my job, home, and eventually my daughter. This was my first rock bottom, and my second rock bottom was about a year and a half ago. I lost my best friend on July 31st, 2017. After treatment and detox seven times total and being in and out of domestic violence relationships, which I, and I almost died, I got free. So I'm 42. He has lifted me up out of the slimy pit, out of the muck and mire. He sat my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. And that's exactly what he did. After treatment this last time, I had no place to go but back to the streets. I was three months pregnant and I called the Olympia Union Gospel Missions, Women's Life Transformation Program, and was accepted into the program at Genesis Acres on January 12, 2018. And by the grace of God and the help and support of the Union Gospel Mission, I've been clean 19 months and one day, two days. <laughs> Only by the grace of God and these people and my family and everybody. On July 17, 2018, I had my second daughter um, in the program, and uh, Courtney, she's also over there. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It's been awesome. I got my nine-year-old placed with me permanently in June of 2018, and so now I have both my children, and I can be the sober mother I've always wanted to be. This program has given me hope, a new beginning, and confidence of who I am in Christ and how much He loves me. I've learned how to live free from addiction by attending the life issue classes, recovery classes that the program offers, and the love and godly care of both my counselors, Joe Yarbrough and Lori Anderson. They've accepted me when, and loved me when I didn't believe I deserved the love. I never knew anyone could love somebody that was so bad before. I'm extremely blessed and thankful. I'm a new woman now. Old has gone, new has come. I, got, I now got skills to deal with addiction without using. I can now have healthy relationships with my family and everybody else. And I can now also give back what I've been giving. And I volunteer and work at the Mission Weekly. And if it wasn't for this program, I'd probably have ended up in the bitchler of the newspaper. So I give you guys extra thanks and love to all you who help and actually take the time to care about something that's so hard to understand. So thank you for being here.